Hi everyone, so one of the questions I get all the time is how do I get water? So I'm here in Quartzsite and I'm going to show you how I get water. Uh, this is actually a vending machine that dispenses water for 20 cents a gallon. So I'm going to show that to you, show you how much water I carry and where I get the water from. Uh, hopefully answering all your questions as much as I can in one short video. So let me uh, spin you around here and give you an idea of how I get water at a vending machine. These vending machines are pretty universal across the desert southwest. I've never had a problem finding a vending machine to get water. An example of one would be Walmart. Every Walmart has a vending water vending machine, or everyone that I've been in. They may not all have, but most do. But it's 40 cents a gallon, so I look anywhere else. This machine is um, is 25 cents a gallon, five gallons for a dollar, 20 cents a gallon. That's why I'm here and why I'm getting it. So let me spin you around and I'll give you an idea of uh, how you get water here. So the key thing is here that you put in your quarter, you put in your quarter here or your dollar bill here. See a dollar bill slot and a quarter slot and then you push a button that says either quarter or five gallons for a dollar. And over here, over here you see, you just take the cap off, line it up with the spout, water pours out and fills it. And if you have a big jug, then you uh, lift the lid and you can put your five gallon big jug in. Water comes out up top. Pretty simple. So quarter for one gallon, a dollar for five. Uh, I've seen it vary as much as from 30 cents to, uh, I don't think I've ever seen it more than 35 cents at these. These are Glacier, that's the vending company, and you can actually go online, look up Glacier Water vending machines, and they have a list. You see this store has two of them. Yeah, I'm in Quartzsite at the RTR, so this is how you get water here in the desert. These are nearly universal. Nearly everywhere I go across Arizona, I can find water vending machines. Now let me show you the inside of my rig. So I carry 10 gallons of water. So here's how I'm carrying. I'm carrying a Reliance three gallon jug here. This is just filled it, that's why I'm here. A one gallon jug and another one gallon jug. So there's five gallons and in this bin, I carry a milk crate with five more gallons. So I've, I've got uh, another five gallons there. Five, this is a total of 10 gallons. And that's how I carry it. Now, let me talk to you about where you can buy water, where you can find water. Hopefully you can get it free, but if you can't, you want to get it somewhere. So where can you get water? Let's see my eyes. Everyone wants to see your eyes. Make sure you're telling the truth. I, I have 11 places where I have gotten water on a pretty regular basis. Number one is convenience stores. I've never been to a convenience store, I think, anywhere where I couldn't walk in and get a, um, get a gallon of water. Uh, I, I bring in a gallon jug and say, hey, can I get a gallon of water? They almost always have sinks with high loops and you can get in with a gallon jug and get a gallon of water. That's what I do. Uh, another thing you can do is, uh, I've been refused one time, I've been doing this for 15 years, one time I've been refused to uh, get water at a convenience store. I only get it one or two gallons at a time, but every time I stop for gas I get a gallon and move on. Uh, vending machines like we just saw, the Glacier vending machines, I found them all across the desert southwest, even up into Montana, Wyoming, you can generally find a vending machine. Uh, number three is Walmart. You can almost always get water at a Walmart. 40 cents a gallon. It's more for purified water. That's one thing about these vending machines. They're purified water. A lot of people will buy the water from the, get it from the dump station or from the, um, uh, just wherever, a park or wherever, city tap water, which is always safe, but it doesn't taste good. So a lot of people will come to the, um, to the vending machines to get their purified water to drink and use that, everything else in the RV or in the rig in another way. Uh, after Walmart parks, uh, lots of city parks will have a, an outlet, although that's, they're usually, that's becoming harder and harder to find. Uh, so parks will often have water. Uh, I'll tell you an unusual one that uh, you probably won't have back east is rodeos. Most small towns will have a area set aside for rodeo. Rodeos are really big in small town west, particularly uh, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, 
uh, Arizona, New Mexico, most small towns are going to have a rodeo, and nearly 100% of the time, there will be a, a faucet there to water the horses. Because you come in with your horses, you don't want to find somebody to water your horses. So they almost always have an outlet there, and I've, I've filled up at, at uh, rodeo stations very often. Uh, aquatic centers. Across the West, especially cold areas of the West, you can't swim seven months out of the year. So they have aquatic centers and you can often ask at the desk and say, can I fill up some water? And there's a spigot and they'll let you fill up with water. Uh, fire departments. Uh, some of the best people in the planet are firemen. And I've often found that if you go into a fire department and say, hey, I've got, uh, I need three or four gallons of water. Can I fill up? They'll almost always say yes. So a fire department is one of the places I will go to get water. Uh, gas stations will frequently, uh, truck stops in particular, but not just truck stops, will often have a spigot uh, outside that you can, so you can fill your radiator. Uh, not, not the pay ones, they all have pay ones, but fairly frequently you can find an actual spigot, uh, city hose, uh, city water supply, and you go in, you ask them, hey, can I get a couple gallons of water? And they'll almost always say yes. Sometimes they'll say no, but you've asked and you've done your job. Of course, when you dump, you'll get water at dump stations almost always. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, here's an odd one that you probably never will have thought of, cemeteries. Cemeteries always have water outlets, and uh, I will almost always ask. I won't just go in and start taking water. But cemeteries will always have faucets because there's lawns, there's gardens, uh, and they have to have water. And you go in, and some places, um, Cottonwood, Arizona, it's got known among the community that you can go there and fill up with water. And so I've gone to the cemetery in uh, Cottonwood, Arizona and filled my water tanks. Uh, another one is charities, uh, particularly Catholic social services or uh, in particular, they serve in particular the homeless population. And so they have an outlet, you know, they'll just have a, a, a building and they'll always have outside water spigot. You go in and say, hey, can I get four or five gallons of water? You almost always can. And so uh, there you go, 11 places you can get water. You just train yourself. The bottom line here with both water and trash is you just train your eye as you drive around and you say, there's where I expect to find water. You look. If you don't, you keep looking. If you come in, whenever I come into a town, one of the first things I'm doing is searching for water and I can almost always find it. Uh, so let me go over those again. Water in uh, convenience stores, water in vi can, uh, vending machines like I just showed you. Uh, Walmart sells water. And I'm not talking about buying up bottles of water. That's a 80, 90 cents a dollar. I'm talking less than 50 cent water a gallon. I just paid 20 here. So parks, city parks frequently will have water for you. Uh, rodeo stations where they hold rodeos in particularly small town west. Most of them have a rodeo arena area out, outside where the horses are stabled. They'll have water. Uh, aquatic centers, small town west has a lot of those. Fire departments will almost always hand out water. Worth, worth asking. The worst they can do is say no. See, that's the thing. You ask, all that's ever going to happen is say no. And then you go to the next one and they'll say yes. So just ask. No big deal. Gas stations will often have uh, city outlets, pet spigots, dump stations, cemeteries, and charity. So there you have it. 12, 11 places where you can go and get water and that's what I almost always do. I just go and find water. I've got to train my eye, look for the water and find it. Same with trash. So I'll talk to you later and that's how I get water uh, on the go as a nomad. Hope that helps. Uh, we'll talk to you in my next video. We'll see you uh, later and um, if you like this video, if you got something from it, some help, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and let your friends know through your social media there's another better way to live, and every problem, like how to get water, has an easy solution, and I'm going to show you what those are. Okay, so we'll talk to you later.